it doesn't take much to fall down the rabbit hole, man. You just got to take one step. And yeah. if you want to make that one step, your first step in the, in the right direction, then, well, mm -hmm. you're going to learn the hard way like I did. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're here with Kevin. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm going good. How about yourself? Good. Before we get started, do you give us permission to use this video on our YouTube channel? I do. All right, buddy. Where are you from originally? Well, I grew up out in Vegas. I was born in California and I've been in Naked City for about nine years. Nine Down. years. Hey, when I when I saw you here at the Aztec, I thought you were a student, remember? Yeah, I know. That's a good look, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't look like you're struggling. So no, my... I don't try to look. I mean, but I have yeah. been. I've, I've been, uh, past nine years have been, uh, been a definite journey mm -hmm. in my life. Can we take it back to the beginning? Where were you born? I was born in Temecula County, Marietta, California. My parents moved out here. In 98, I was two years old. And uh, since then I've been out here besides going to California for high school. Nice. Um, how old were you when you left California again? Initially when I was born, two years. Then in high school, 15, then came back. Came back when I was 18. Okay. I uh, Las Vegas with my father. Um, my father actually ended up killing himself uh, in 2018 and that's what really led me to Naked City. Um, and I was on heroin, blues, fentanyl, you know, strung out, back and forth, being sober, um, trying to get to my sobriety and then just relapsing. I mean, just, and I've, I've seen a lot out here, man. I've seen, I've had countless people I've known that have died and gone to jail and, and it continues every day, man. I see it every day out here, you know, and it's still going on and I've lost a lot of friends. And it's really sad actually to see it happening just right in front of me. First of all, I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. Were you really close? Yes, I was. That was, that was my best friend and my pops. You were 18 when he died? Um, I was 20 years old. And how old are you now? 29. 29. So I and was about 22, 21. Yeah. Where were you? Where did you go to high school? Foothill in California. I went to Palo for two two months. When Where's we Palo? Palo Verde's in Summerlin. By okay. Rogers, yeah. You graduated, you said? I did. I ended up getting my diploma out in California. Nice. And what did you do after high school? Uh, I came to Vegas with my pops. Uh, my parents got divorced when uh, I was a freshman. And uh, when I graduated, I, I came to Vegas with my father and my mother and my sister stayed in California. And yeah, and then when I came to Vegas with my pops, I tried to hold down job after job. Uh, but my addiction started with uh, pills, like morphine led to heroin. That led to blues, what they call them, the little M30 pills that everyone's smoking, which they still are. Um, they're still around to this day, and now it's the fentanyl um, that took over like the past two years. Um, All right, so when did you first start using? 18 years old out in California. Um, it was the lean, that was popular back then. Lean? Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, hydro, uh, it's a uh, codeine and promethazine. That's right, it was popular back then. It was, activist, high tech, all that, yep. You got started on that, and then who influenced you? My friends, actually, man. My, my, my high school reject friends, man, in independent studies. Oh. Yep. That's the ones yeah. that uh, I wish I never started, man, because like, yeah. I'd be in a better place today. Yeah, it's all right. You're still young. Did yeah. you ever have a period of sobriety? Yeah, on and off, but mainly I've been using the past nine years. And now, nine years? Yeah, now I, since I got out on the 28th from uh, jail, yeah, I've been, I've been all about my sobriety and, and getting my life together. How, what were you in jail for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, violation um, of obstructing a police officer. Okay. I didn't uh, show up to court and uh, I caught a charge in county and uh, that violated me and uh, I had to do 36 days. Okay. Go back to your childhood. What, what were your dreams? What did you want to become? Man, I wanted to serve in the military or be a sports star, do, do something with baseball or, or football. You yeah, know? you were a good athlete? Yeah, I was pretty good. Yeah, how tall are you? 6'4". You're 6'4", yeah, you're yeah. tall, dude. Yep. Can you dunk? No. Uh, can't dunk, no. Can't play basketball? Uh, I can shoot, I can dribble. Yeah. I, I'm pretty decent with, with, with my handles, but uh, yeah, lately uh, I haven't been playing much, so I'll get back into that, definitely. You were raised by both parents for most of your life? Yes, I was. Yep, they were great parents. You know, took, man, they, they kept me inside in a nice area, nice neighborhood. Yeah. Looked out for me. Yeah, they, they were good. Everything was good up until the divorce. What, um, was anyone using in your family at all? My father you, um, was prescribed hydrocodone for yeah. a little bit too long. Um, okay. For, for about 
15 years and yeah i think he became a little dependent on it and uh it started yeah. to lead to uh using other things that i don't want to yeah, yeah out no. there but i, I kind of need to but yeah. yeah that was it was sad to see that it was before he died and, yeah uh, he ended up shooting himself man in, in, in the face uh when i was in the when i was in the house and, uh, oh yeah. man i'm so sorry so are you using a numb to pain yeah that's what it was okay. numb to pain yep why did you first start using uh in the beginning curiosity curiosity yeah it was what? just a curious thing of me just to you know my friends were doing it and uh yeah, I was I was depressed at the time, so yeah, yeah, it was hard. It was hard, and that was the only way to escape the the pain, you know. What's your advice to young people wanting to experiment with fentanyl? You just gotta know that uh, it doesn't take much to fall down the rabbit hole, man. You just gotta take one step, and yeah. if you want to make that one step, your first step in the in the right direction, and well, mm -hmm. you gonna learn the hard way like I did. It took you, you nine years, and you don't want to waste your life or go to jail or die. I can show you countless people that have died, locked up, just got out, going back. I don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah. Come on, man. You're all the f up, you know? Yeah. Good <laughs> advice. Do you have a girlfriend or a significant other? I mean, I got I got girls on my phone. I wouldn't yeah. say they're my girlfriends, though, okay. because they're, yeah. I'm looking for someone I could call my, my, my wife, really, man. Yeah. What do you look for in a girl? If they exist, uh, like a woman that has, like, a, a strong mindset, mm. is mostly peaceful, and, uh, is very passionate about things. That would be peaceful. Nice. You said peaceful. Somewhat peaceful. Yeah. Not all of them are peaceful, but uh, I could deal with the drama a little bit. But yeah. sometimes I'm like, girl, you need to chill the. F out. Yeah. I can deal with a little drama, man. Yeah. It ain't nothing to me. But I, yeah, I prefer if I'm gonna sit down and lock it in with a girl. Yeah, call her my wife. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna make sure uh, the drama is well, to a minimal. Well, you're dressed pretty nice. You know, you're you got everything going on here. What? <laughs> I don't feel too. No. I, I, like, I can wear nicer stuff. Like, yeah, but do you have a place to live right now? Yeah, I'm actually, I got some friends looking out for me that I... Oh, they're looking out for you? That's great. I, I pay to stay there on a daily, and yeah, they, they've been awesome, man. I apologize. Did you say you're clean right now or yes. not right now? Oh, you are. How long has it been clean? Uh, since the 28th. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. Really happy for you. Uh, do you have any plans? Yeah, um, I'm going to the DMV this week, actually, um, and uh, I got my food stamp card. Actually, I got a job here at the Aztec. I'm working on uh, selling tickets for shows. That's right awesome. Oh, yep. there's a young lady here that does that. Yep, yep. I forgot her name, but she's Adore. really, yeah, she's really nice. So you got the job there and you're clean. And how do you stay clean? Do you oh, go to man, meetings? That's or? Just, just, I've seen it enough, man. I'm done. My you done? Yeah. What about meetings? You, you go to meetings or anything or NA? I got, I got good people around me right now and that's, that's so far been enough, but it starts within, you know, so yeah. just myself. You got people that are sober around you? Yes. Good. Who loves you out there in the world? So far, myself and uh, yeah. my friends. What about your fa your mom, your yeah, sister? I, I do talk to them. Yeah, that, we're, we're rebuilding our relationship. Where do they live again? California? Yeah, my mother and my sister. Yeah. Um, out in Livermore. Yeah. And my stepfather. Yeah. Okay. So what's your, what's your two-year plan? Two-year plan, um, car, apartment, and uh, the best job I can find. What do you, um, as far as career, what would you like to see yourself doing? Anything that, I just go with the flow. For right now, yeah. I'm, I'm not too far ahead of myself, but yeah. I, I, I'm dreaming big, but I'm also trying to remain in, in, you know, in my situation and get things that I need to get done. But, yeah. you know, something maybe with casinos, music. You, you said know, music? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Or, I mean, not, I wouldn't say I'd be into music like yeah. that, but, uh, you know, I, uh, my father used to be a talent buyer. He, uh helped uh acts get into venues okay uh, got a yeah so it was a nice little job speaking of music what, what kind of music do you like for all, all kinds man i listen to country rap what kind of artists do you like um you know i listen to chris brown drake you know i listen to a little um uh, bay area you know yeah the vegas scene i listen to um what's the vegas scene it ain't that I wouldn't say it's a scene, but uh, there you know you got you got your Dizzy Wright, you know. Oh, I've heard of him. Gerson Park, you got you okay. know. There's a few people, a few names that I don't know, like I could mention, but the songs that I've heard from being out in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have any talents? Got a few talents, man. I'd say I'm a people person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd say I'm a people person. What's your favorite kind of food? Favorite food? Uh, I like Firehouse Subs. Where's that at? They got a few around here. Firehouse subs, all yep, right. Yep. Is it dangerous out here? Yep. 
in Naked City? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. What's the worst thing that's happened to you? Oh, um, stabbed in the stomach. Okay. I, I can't say any names. Um, what was that over? I don't want to, I can't talk about okay, it. Okay, okay, no problem. People dying. Um, Go there. Dropping dead. I bring them back to life, I got Narcan. You bring them back to life? Yeah, man, this Narcan sh is pretty cool. Um, yeah. It's, it's, um, not, it doesn't work for xylazine, but, uh, you know, the new trank, the deer yeah. trank, the elephant trank, um, it's, okay. uh, it's a new drug. Instead of the Fetty, they're, they're mixing it with trank to make it yeah. stronger. Yeah. But it's way stronger than fentanyl, and Narcan doesn't work for it, so, um, okay. yeah, it's, it's killing people left and right. But, uh, yeah, that's what I was on the news for. Um, Oh, that's tell us about the news story. I saw that. Oh, yeah. So I got locked up, right, April 17th, over by Bells, actually. Um, I was uh, smoking when I was doing Fetty, um, which I'm glad I don't do anymore. Um, but uh, they arrested me, said I had a warrant. I was surprised, right, because everyone around me had warrants, uh, all the people I was with. Uh, and we were all over there, and the cops rolled right up on us and uh, hit us. Um, mm. Well, anyways, when I when I got out, I put in a kite to see Vegas Stronger. That's where they interviewed me for the news. Um, what channel news? Channel three. Channel three. So oh, as yeah. soon as I got out of jail, they picked me up. Vegas Stronger went there. Channel three news was there and was like, "Hey, do you know anything about xylazine and fentanyl?" And I was like, "Yeah." And they, I did a whole segment on it. All right, my friend. Thank you so much for this interview. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man. Last no question: problem. What's your message to the world? Man, get smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. That's it. All right, man. Thank you so much, my friend Kevin. Appreciate it. Have a good night. You too, man. Be safe out there. Yeah,